Hey there guys, this is Draken, and I'll be going over the Lunar New Year Celebration Shop. Uh, just taking a look at all the things they're offering. Seems they have a ton of these little grab bags, and we'll have to take a look at each one of those. So first off, let's just grab that NRG Restore Large. I always like those restores. I try to save up as many of them as I can, because that's basically what lets you do anything in this game. So first up, a handy gift bag, one left today. So 60 paid, so it is paid, and crap, of course it has to be something I actually don't mind having. So to 10 large restores for 60 viz, I'd say that is actually a pretty decent amount. Uh, <laughs> it's just 60 paid. If you've bought the 30 day viz deal, which is pretty much the only thing I am buying currently, it builds up slowly, and I still have some Christmas funds left over I suppose so I can buy some of these little small things like this I don't care about these and I have so many of these right now I don't really care about those either I'll be using a bunch of them for the siren raid here as well as larger stores for the siren raid so I can continue it on so these will be necessary for that I don't even want to really talk about the siren raid though because <sighs> My units just are not prepared, so let's look at my next item here. Select unit gift bag. 1,500. Paid, of course. Uh, I would not recommend this. Seems like they're mostly selling you those big cubes. And a select unit. Now, does it come with the unit that I would actually give two shits about? And the Flaming Fister is not included. So, yeah, not even slightly interested. Even if I was going to buy it, I would only buy it if he was in it, and I'm not going to spend that much on it. And the only reason I would recommend it is because I do have 600 of this guy's shards right here. And I'm blanking on his name, so I'm not even going to try. He's the flaming fister to me. That's how I'm probably going to always remember him. So 600 growth eggs. Not a half bad decent, but it's, again, just a select... So, I wouldn't recommend this one either, and it's looking like it of course won't have the newest units or vision cards in it. If these did include the current banner characters or current vision card, then maybe they would be worth getting, because you could get all the bingo board rewards and everything else. Ultra Rare Unit, Limit Breaking Gift Bag, 1000 paid, what does it come with? 80 shards I don't think this is worth it it's a better deal than what they've offered in some of the previous ones however for a thousand paid I would say you would want more somewhere between 5 to 10 rainbow vision spheres and somewhere between 3 to 5 rainbow fragments and you just don't even bother they could give you fucking 500 of these things I still wouldn't think it's worth it I just do not like those EXP cubes so I'm biased against them and for these, I believe they need to give you a little bit more, especially if it's going to be locked behind a paid wall. And the shards here, you know, honestly, they're select ultra rare unit shards. If you're paying for these shards, you might as well get the 2k viz and go do that fucking summon. That'll give you a ridiculous amount because most likely you'll end up with a bunch of summon medals that you can then exchange for whatever select ultra rare unit you want and you could just save them up too for when they do the level 120 limit break <laughs> ultra rare vision card awakening gift bag uh pretty much the same deal as the other one they're not giving enough of these really and not enough vision spheres again and it's only 50 summon again it is a slightly better deal than previously what they have had Bless me there. <laughs> but let's continue on down. Uh, Mythic Rare, so I'm assuming it's going to have some of these. Yep. Mm. Just one, three, thirty, fifty Mythic Rare unit shards. But it isn't paid viz, it's 1,500 free. It does have Alim. She would be good in the raid. I do not have enough shards of her. However, 
I'm not going to be buying this either. Schultz. I need, I think, 200 for him to be maxed out. Useful in the raid. So, if you're close to having one of those two units maxed, Alum or Schultz or basically those two for this current raid, you might have someone else you might want to use for it. Or if you're looking to max him out for his vision card that's currently there, and you're super close, you might consider this because it does give you one of these, gives you 50 shards, and it, it isn't paid. That's the key there, it's not paid. So a thousand paid, raid support. Uh, okay, actually, not the worst. If you are trying to get through this raid and you don't have a lot of these raid restores, I think I have a couple. I have 59 saved up, so I'm not too worried about that. And I think I have some of these, so I have 109, so that's good. That's decent just from like little packs I bought in here and there. So, this, I would recommend just for the NRG restore if you don't have any, and if you are looking to do your raid, a thousand paid isn't that bad. You could buy, say, in the shop, a 30 large restore, and you'll get a good little chunk of this paid, and then you can use that paid to get even more of these, and that way you'll never run out of NRG restore potions. I've done this before, and that's why I have so many. Because I did get, during Christmas time, a ton of these, and they had some of these kind of deals going on. So I basically just doubled up on the NRG restores when I could, and I still haven't run out since then. And I mean, I've had several days where I've done 999 NRG over and over again. So that's not the worst deal there. But if you aren't going to put any money into the game, don't. But if you are, this is somewhat decent. So, Ultra Rare Unit Training Gift Bag. 100 Summon Tickets. For the Fragments of Thoughts. 100 Prisms. Uh, 1 Sphere. For 2k Viz, I wouldn't recommend it. You'll you probably end up getting some of these. I have... Why not specifically these? I think I have like times 200 times 300 from some just events or some summons that I've done and I've gotten these tickets. So I have a bunch of these saved up. I mean, if you are very desperate to get these, it is just free viz and it does give you a rainbow vision sphere. It took me a little while to build these back up and I'm trying to save them for the new event that comes out. So, because it isn't paid viz, I'd say consider it. You're limited to five though. I would not recommend buying five of them for 10k viz, especially this close to the anniversary. That's the big thing I'm weighing right now is the anniversary is just around the corner. So an Esper gift bag, 500, a medium, which basically means like nothing. <laughs> I don't even know if that would be like five of the extra large. It might not be actually. <laughs> 150 large, that's a little bit better, but still pretty much just nothing. And then 50, 50 of the large. I would say I wouldn't really recommend this one if it was more extra large. However, if you are super close to maxing out Nesper too, they're unfortunately going to be increasing the level cap of Espers in the future. So you may want to just buy a couple of these and just save them. Just save them for when you get that Esper up. Uh, I think it's going up to level 120 on the next one. So you may want to buy those just to kind of have them saved up. Also, never believe whatever they say is the percentage off on these, because they aren't. So, 97% off for this. That should be like fucking 50 viz, because this stuff's just garbage. It's worth nothing. And it's definitely not 97% off. If you do the math on these things, on the just base price of what they have those as, and then what they say they're putting it off on, it's completely wrong. <laughs> like, they are so far off. It's used car salesman tactics here at this point. It's just a trap. Don't believe what they say is on sale or 70% off. Maybe it's 70% off after they've increased the price to 300% and then decreased it by 97%. Like, I don't know how they get the numbers for these. I really don't. And 
I don't even pay attention to those at this point. It's just, they say on sale. Okay, cool. I look at what it actually is, though, and use reasoning. This could be somewhat worth it. I'm not going to say don't do it. I may do one or two. I might. That one is kind of a considerate type deal. Because I do have some espers that are close to max. And then going forward, you might want some of these saved up. They normally don't really offer much better deals on that. That's pretty much what they go for. And it's only the free viz. It's not the paid viz as well. So the Ovalite gift bags. I don't mind the Ovalites. 2k viz is much. Depending on... Okay, they are offering the Ovalite extra large. Normally those are locked behind a paywall. I did pay 300 paid viz to get 100 of these extra large. But that was paid. So if you aren't looking to put any money into it... I would suggest one purchase of this, and I would only suggest using these on, say, those JP up, like, missions that they offer every now and then, and only use these on the units that you really want to raise up. Uh, if you check one of my older videos, you'll see you get a ton of JP for this, and it is perfect for any of those new units that just don't have a lot to start with. You can power, power level them like with their job abilities doing that 100 large is okay 200 medium it's okay it's kind of like buy one if you don't have any but i wouldn't recommend buying all of them equipment training Ooh, look at refinement times 100 that actually is a halfway decent yeah. Okay, I would recommend this one, actually. Especially since you can't always get the seals or the tickets. Actually, seals aren't that big of a deal. They're kind of nice. Resmithing hammers are okay. I never run into issues with the adamantine. I have so many of the just large ones right now, I could reforge my equipment by 10 to 20 times and not care about them and still have leftovers. If you just set yourself to auto run using those NRG potions on those missions, you build up so much you don't need it. However, even when you set yourself to auto run, sometimes you just don't get the secret books you're looking for or you just don't have enough of them. And 2k viz isn't bad. I will probably buy a couple of those. And I don't know if I'll buy all of them because it is 6 fit. 6,000 viz and I'm trying to save up but I'll definitely buy one for sure because that's not a bad deal right there 100 of those again it's not paid viz which is the nice thing so I looked at that one already trash don't buy it I don't care if you want to level your units up just get that just get the energy fucking large restore potions set them to auto run and then just there you go you'll level up faster than you would with these well, faster and easier than with these cubes. Because the cubes won't give you masteries, they won't give you Esper resonance, they won't give you character resonance, they won't give you a ton of shit. So, growth egg gift pack. 150 of the extra large here, that's pretty decent. 100 of those. 50 large for a thousand viz. Okay. I'll probably end up actually buying all of those. It's a halfway decent one right there. The XP cube gift bag. It's only gill, so you could get this one if you want some of these. I don't even think I... No, I don't need any of these. Like, I, I haven't even been trying to get these. They just kind of come from doing some of the quests, I think. Adamantine gift bag. So, yep, that's, that's a pretty good deal. That's a good decent amount. And this is another reason I have a fuck ton of these because they do sometimes offer these deals. And it's only kill. So, kill, no big deal. You can get that back. Ovalite large, as you see, those normally cost is. They don't have the extra larges in here. And they have growth eggs. Or why not get a hundred of those? I think that's... Oh, no. We also have the vision card shop to go through here. Which is a very small shop. And they're doing this again. It seems to be this is going to be the new norm. Where they always include this 
kind of a deal and 50 of those and they have three three purchases of it so 150 typhoon shards then you get another 75 there and that's almost enough to max limit break it but they'll also have the bingo board and he'll be featured in the regular shop here probably pretty often see 10 shards right there just from that so you'll have no trouble maxing it out if you are spending money on it which is kind of what i think they have intended they want people to spend the money on that so they'll be including these probably in everyone going forward and i probably won't be doing these ever actually i won't say that if i did get sponsorship or funding or people donating to my channel often i probably would get these too occasionally depending on the vision card i wouldn't get it for this vision card because i do not care about this vision card it's not what i'm pulling for it's not what i really care about and the other shops are just the standard ones but let's take a quick look at the mog shop as well because that's also part of it so they have the elf cloak and soul of the massa and the platinum helmet from the raid now i'm a little biased because i'm definitely going for soul of the massa but if you're thinking about the elf cloak uh it's actually not that bad it has the highest hit point uh i believe the number goes up to 640 if you go with the hit point version and that's for an accessory right it's not an armor item it's an actual accessory i believe yeah it's an accessory so that's the highest hit point for an accessory which is decent uh, if you go with the evade one it looks like it has 14 at the max which it's not bad for an evasion cloak but the star masteries at star five it increases confusion resist by 25 which that's kind of niche there's not very often that they'll be used and it increases pierce resist by 10 percent that's only at the plus five the plus four is five percent which is most likely where you'll be getting it or even just plus three which would be just three percent which isn't a lot so if you are looking at it for the pierce resist you're probably gonna have to go all in because with this raid it's a level 100 one and they do not actually offer an item reward so you aren't going to be getting a plus two or three version of this from that raid you'll just have to buy the medals which would be oh i don't have medals right now so i can't actually take a look you'd need like 61 or 63 or something i can't remember exactly i think it's 63 of these so that's that's a lot of metals that you'll need from it and if you have all the units you have the right units you're doing the raid a lot you can make that work i'm personally going to be going all in on the soul of the massa because i missed the last event that had these so as you see i kind of came in at the very tail end of it so i ended up getting a couple recipes but definitely not as many as i wanted so i will be going after this specifically for my magic units and that's what i'll be spending all of these medals on and of course i will try to get these three rainbow vision spheres here uh and these two rainbow thoughts so that right there is going to be taking up <laughs> 25 you know k worth of medals uh it's also I probably won't be getting these because I'll be focusing all on just the soul of the massa. Oh, that's nice that they added unlimited numbers to those. And they aren't ridiculously priced. They've been a little high in some of them before where they've been like 500 medals for one. And it's like, well, why would I bother doing that for any of those? They have, it looks like, lowered the cost for all those materials, which is a good thing. Void crystal still cost 500, but you need less of those than you do the other materials, so that's still reasonable. Uh, those are still 500. I wish they would have lowered those to like 100 as well, because you're probably not going to be farming this raid to get those. NRG medium potions i always recommend pulling as many of those out as you can i've only been doing that for these and whenever they have shops i go for those uh it looks like there's also this yeah we got one of these fortune summon ticket 
Ticket that can be acquired by exchanging ox metals, draw out memories, engraved in crystals via summon ritual, summon depending entirely on the spirit strands, post with it. Okay, so it doesn't really tell me what I can get for it. I'll actually collect it and then summon. I do have one of those, and I'll, I'll just do that. Why not? Ultra Rare Guaranteed takes 10. Ultra. This is what I would recommend over the Ultra Rare. Summon Ticket, I would recommend this. Because I believe these also... Yes, they're just Ultra Rare Summon Tickets. Same with the Unit Tickets. If you get those and you currently... There is a banner you really, really want that unit for. Save these up. Because they will be updated as you go forward. I believe they will be. Don't quote me on that. So you can actually hoard these tickets and hoard your gold tickets for when a character banner that you really like is done and then you can try to summon and you'll have a chance to get that character in it. 10 event tip tickets for one is also a decent deal. Like 5 for one of these, that's not bad. Okay, I'm going for those. Rainbow Vision Spheres, fuck I need those. It only takes 2. So I'm taking that these metals aren't going to be the easiest to get because everything costs like such a small little amount. However, I'm sure there's missions that you can do to get them. So, see what those even give me. The unit and vision card, and they also have an equipment training one. So each one of these recipes costs you one. That's nice. That's a pretty good deal there too. The equivalent, though, is you can buy those from the shop for like a million gil, I believe. Something like that. So you can just buy those with gil if you go through the shop. But I wouldn't be using these metals because they do have some very good deals in the first one. And you would need 64 to max one of these up if you did not have it. And the seals definitely don't do it. They aren't worth it. You can get those seals from a number of other things. Secret Book of Refinements, you get 5 for 2 medals. I wouldn't do that for those either, because you can just farm the missions for them. Or purchase them with Viz for 100. So, I'm not going to really recommend this equipment training branch of it. It's much more worth it to go for the units and vision card materials, and especially the rainbow spheres. Even if you think you have a good little amount, they go really fast when you start upgrading things. So those are definitely worth getting for sure. Focus on these almost over these because they cost a lot more for the rainbow fragments. But you need more rainbow vision spheres than you will fragments. So you'll end up using these more often and run under these first more often than you will the fragments. The event skip is nice, but I would go after this after you get all the other good rewards there. Typhoon Medals, Tower Medals, Burn With Life, Friend Medals, there's nothing special in Yeah, crap, I'm not going to be able to get her up before the raid even goes, so... I might as well just keep doing that, though. I kind of didn't get her because I thought they would update this eventually, but it looks like they're just keeping them. So I have a ton of those saved up, and nothing really to spend them on. Same with this one, I'm not buying anything out of here, I'm just saving those up. Eventually, I do believe they will switch that out. Guild medals, I don't believe they have anything different, so purchase. Nothing new there, nothing new here. Yeah, so I think that's everything for the shop here. And there's nothing else really to go over for that. Turtles. Right, I did buy those. So yeah, they do have missions here. I guess I'll go to the summon and summon that. So claim all. Mission Let's actually take a look here. Uh, rare summon ticket, which I'm hoarding for when they have a couple units that I want. Not in the banner anymore. So events. So let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so if this is a one-time thing, you can get about 9 medals from it. Maybe 10, I might have claimed one already. 
Okay, nice. They're also giving out 500 for just doing the NRG thing. They normally do that during each of the raids. So that's a decent little extra amount to get on. So, ends in 14 days. I hope they update this and give us more of these medals because there are a lot of good rewards. If they don't, that's okay as well. You still get quite a few. Let, let's actually jump in and go to the summon tickets. I believe that's where I would do the summon New Year's ticket thing. Ticket summon list. Yes, so I have two. So I believe they gave me one and they'll give us seven or something of them. Let's summon both of those, see if there's what we get actually from it. Okay, okay, so we're getting like unit shards and vision card shards. That's that's not too bad. I got two that I actually liked. I'm trying to get her maxed out, so that's good. And this echoing scream isn't too bad either, so I'm, I will get that eventually up there. It's good for slashing, which is pretty much all the units in the game almost. <laughs> So yeah, so those give you five shards or five things. I'm not sure. They might be able to give you more than that. They might not. I don't know if there was a notice about those tickets. Let's take a quick look here. Separation summons. Down. Middles. Cut. Probably does say somewhere what you can get from them. Which I'll probably look into just to see because I might focus on the other rewards from the shop first before doing that because I'm not sure how limited those are going to be. And if they only give out like nine of the medals and the one each day, it's pretty limited. If they update those quests each day, then that's fine, right? You can get a ton of those and it won't be too much of an issue at all. And Jock's medals. Top lineup. If you... Weekly campaign, Siren Raid. I don't see it anywhere in here in the updates, but it probably is somewhere and I just missed it kind of thing. So, New Year's 2021 celebration daily missions to acquire Ox Medals and exchange them. So it does look like there are going to be daily missions each day to get those Ox Medals, so that is decent. So you, we probably will get like nine missions each day or something like that to get a bunch of these. Oh wait, maybe that's... No, it does say to acquire ox missions. Yeah, that is that. Limited challenge missions. So I haven't actually looked at that either. I take a quick glance at that before I end this video. I am recording, right? Okay, yes. Oh, I've already taken 28 minutes though, so this is a little bit longer video. Uh, times three guild medal gifts, so make sure you change that out. Because that is definitely something worth doing. Missions. There's this event here, but is there also... Story mission, hard quests, far planes... Events. Brutal, difficult, demo. There's a couple more new event missions here that we can do. Event story stuff. Yeah, these they'll have, I guess each day they'll have new ones. And they might have 14 days worth of that. So that's, that's halfway decent. That's a good amount. So with that, I'll uh, let you guys go and do your shopping and do your summoning and hopefully with this video it helped you kind of decide what to get what not to get and if it did help at all please leave a comment like and subscribe helps me out a bunch <laughs> so see you guys next time